So we begin at the State House in Nairobi where the contentious meeting between President William Ruto and Chief Justice Martha Komi took place today with the heads of the three arms of government pledging to promote the independence of institutions as aspired in the Constitution. But a statement from State House gave no indication as to whether the specifics of the relentless attacks on the judiciary by President William Ruto were discussed, particularly his repeated allegations that judges were sabotaging projects of his government. Chemutai Goin has more. To work together for the benefit and the interest of the people of Kenya. As has become the norm at State House, President William Ruto offered the opening word of prayer, then began a contentious meeting that had been preceded by hostile rhetoric, with President Ruto leading weeks of a ceaseless assault on a judiciary he called corrupt. And so they gathered in a semi-formal horseshoe formation with President Ruto, positioned at the head of the half circle, giving the sitting arrangement an ironic arrowhead tip. Attorney General Justin Muturi, Solicitor General Shadrach Mose, and Interior CS Professor Kiture Kindiki joined President Ruto in the executive attendance list. Speaker Moses Wetangula and the National Assembly Clerk took the roll call for the legislature, while Chief Justice Martha Kome, Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu, and the Acting Chief Registrar Paul Ndemo represented the judiciary. The meeting took place behind closed doors with a statement pointing out that the gathering was convened in response to a request of the judiciary to deliberate on approaches to fight corruption and facilitate a seamless delivery of services to Kenyans. According to the statement, President Ruto said there will be no sacred cows, whether in the executive, judiciary or legislature in the fight against corruption. The statement did not, however, shed any more light on the pronouncement that preceded the meeting, some of them that had questioned decisions of judges and rulings of the law courts. We support the independence of the judiciary, but ju corrupt judicial officials working with those who vested interests that are benefiting from money stolen from NHIF who want to perpetuate judicial tyranny and judicial impunity, we will deal with them, we will fight with them, we will not allow them, they will not go far. He might have received reports uh, because we have the uh, various machineries and agencies that are charged the responsibility of correcting information. And we would like to engage him so that he can give us that information. Uh, because we all have a responsibility of solving our problems in this country. We all recognize corruption is endemic, it is a problem, it is unacceptable, it is condemned, it is actually a criminal offense. The four and a half hours long meeting, said to be reportedly cordial, with participants acknowledging that corruption had permeated all the arms of government, threatening the much needed transformation of the country. Watu wachache, wawili watatu, wameenda kotini, wakahongana kotini, mpango hiyo ikasimamishwa, barabara ikasimamishwa, universal health coverage inasimamishwa, mambo ya housing inasimamishwa. At the meeting, this was seemingly not mentioned as the corruption allegation was distributed not just to the judiciary but all arms of government. A resolution reached that within 30 days, each arm of government submit proposals to the National Council of the Administration of Justice, which brings together all players in the criminal justice system on short term, medium term, and long term measures to deal with the vice. The president is also said to have committed to respect the rule of law, despite his initial threat to defy orders he said was sabotaging government programs, pushing the Chief Justice to sound a warning that such actions would result in anarchy and a constitutional crisis. The statement was also silent on the question of decisional independence by judges but instead indicated a promise of goodies through the appointment of more judges and an increase in the judiciary's budgetary allocation.
Presumably based on CJ Kome's wish list, the executive and the legislature pledged to facilitate the recruitment of 25 additional judges of the High Court, recruitment of 11 new judges of the Court of Appeal, and also channel resources towards vehicle leasing program to facilitate its transport needs. After weeks of constant shelling from the executive, the judiciary walked through the open gates of State House today to a meeting that was broad on generalities but shy of specifics. The issues in contention were seemingly avoided if the official statement is anything to go by. No mention of bribery or sabotage as State House and the judiciary settled for a rather ambiguous ceasefire statement. Chamutai Goin, Serizan TV.